Hey, deserving listeners, it's just me today. Patron Xavier in France asked me to talk about Winnicott. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, Patron Xavier. I love Donald Winnicott. I have since the early days of my master's degree. When I first came across him and his teachings, I very much uh, was gravitated toward it. My The very first theory that I fell in love with was his theory that he was a part of object relations. Yeah, so he's one of the greats. Perhaps he um, one of the most interesting figures in our field in a lot of ways. And he he's hugely influential. He was he was a part of a of a huge shift in the way that psychology and psychoanalysis looked at humans. He he played a huge role in countertransference understanding. In, in a lot of ways, he set the stage for what we're all about today. But perhaps the most interesting part about his career is that he used he used radio to spread his ideas about parenting. He had a show on the BBC in Britain called The Ordinary Mother and Her Baby. The Ordinary Mother and Her Baby. <laughs> he, he had over 600 episodes, which is crazy. I mean, this podcast hasn't had 600 episodes, I don't think. And you can listen to them on the internet. Just Google it. It's so fascinating to hear these, these episodes because they go back to geez, I don't know, the mid-century, some, some point last time. Um, can you imagine this? Uh, his, his, uh, he, was, he was broadcast all over Britain talking about child psychoanalysis. Um, it's crazy. Um, he talked about how to help children develop. He gave a lot of advice, actually. He gave a lot of specific advice, like don't send your seven-year-old to boarding school, which was sort of like the dream of all parents in Britain at the time was to have enough money to send your young child to boarding school so they, they could become proper British people. But what Winnicott was observing was that this was actually harming children. It, it turned children into these kind of immature robots, and um, which I could absolutely see happening. So it's interesting to think about Winnicott on the radio, you know, once a week or something, or I don't know how often, probably more than once a week. But anyway, he, he's on the radio talking about things, and, and, um, and it makes me think that I am similar to Winnicott, because here I am, you know, I like to yammer into a microphone and broadcast my thoughts out, you know, to everyone, just, just like he did. He was a super influential British psychoanalyst who will go down in history as, you know, one of the 10 most influential people in our field. And I'm just a stupid American who never influenced anyone and won't ever influence anyone. But aside from that, you know, we're, we're practically identical, me and Winnicott. We both, we both talk into a microphone. So welcome to the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I am a therapist and a professor. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast. So if you're listening to this and you're not a patron yet, then you have to become a patron of this podcast to listen to this episode. If you want to hear me yammer into the microphone about Donald Winnicott and all of his theories and blah, 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 you got to become a patron by going to patreon.com. So do that now. Do it now. Go to Patreon. Go to patreon.com. Become a patron. 